All right, let's take a look here at Mavericks. And of course, the Mac has no equal when it comes to a tool for getting projects done. I'm gonna work on a project right here and open up pages and open up a document for a mission to Mars. And what's really great now in Mavericks is I also have access right here on my Mac to iBooks. So I have my book library here. I can open one of my books. This is a uh, textbook on Mars. Of course, you see these beautiful interactive textbooks. I can just use multi-touch gestures to move between the uh, pages of a chapter, just like this. Of course, there are these great interactives. There's a video here I can play. Three, two, one. Make the chip start, zero, and lift off to the Atlas V with It's really, really nice. It's a great way to learn, but it's also a great way to work. So if I have a quote, for instance, that I want to move uh, into a report that I'm writing as a citation, I can just click, drag that quote right into my document, just like that. And now it's much easier to organize my content as well with tags. So you see here I have the contents of my documents folder. There's a lot in here, but I've been able to categorize them by topic with tags. So if I want to see all my content related to Mars, I can just access it right here. So I'll drag an image out that I want to add to my document just like this. That looks pretty good. And tagging your own documents really easy as well. I can just click here on the title bar and add a tag. So you can see I can select from any tags I've already created, like Mars. And I can also tag a single document with multiple tags. So this one also has to do with school. I'll tag it just like that. And you'll notice it appears here under Mars as well as under school. Now, Mavericks is also really great for keeping track of what's going on even when I'm working. So for instance, if a notification comes in like this, let's see, oh, yep, I can actually respond right here to my wife. Uh, let's see, okay, well, uh, let's see, uh, Phil is my fashion guru. So you can just respond right there, it's really convenient. Now, we support a new kind of notifications in Mavericks as well, which is website notifications. If I've signed up for a particular site, I can see a notification like this. Here we see Major League Baseball sent me a notification. Let's zoom back out here. You can see I get a story right here. I can read it like this. I have another notification from a, a website. This one for an item I'm following on Guilt. Get a notification that's available. That looks really like just what I need. So. <laughs> I can, uh, I can buy it right now. And what's great is with iCloud Keychain in Mavericks, my passwords are synced across all my devices. So I can log right in without having to remember or type my password. And that also works for entering my payment information. Just so click here into the card number field. My credit cards are listed. You want to write down that number right now. And along with my expiration date, <laughs> but you don't have my security code, I have to enter that in manually for extra security. Now, while we're here in Safari, Let's take a look at our great new top sites view. And on the left here, you see shared links. So I can click to uh, view an article. Uh, here's a nice one about Apple's uh, new campus. Uh, I, for one, look forward to working in outer space. Uh, so uh, I can gesture back right to my list and uh, do searches. So for instance, I can search for stories shared that have Mars in it. I can click in like this. And we have a great new reader view as well. It looks really nice. And as I scroll through the articles with Safari's accelerated scrolling, I can go right from the end of one article right into the next, just continuously. It's really just a fantastic way to read. And as you can imagine, this is about a good time for another notification. Uh, here's one right here from my friend <laughs> Nina, who's just in town. And uh, she wants to apparently uh, meet at uh, Coit Tower. Now, with data detectors, I can actually just click on this and get a view right of the uh, time and appointment. But what's great is when I go into our great new calendar app, you notice it's also extracted the location. It's even shown me a map of that location and the weather expected for that time. And because calendar is completely location aware, it also knows where my previous appointment is, and it can actually let me know how long it'll take to travel from one spot to the other. I can drive or walk, and it looks like it's gonna be a nice day, so I'll go ahead and walk. You notice it marks out the travel time right here on my calendar, and I can ask to be alerted on my phone and computer when I need to leave. Now I'm just gonna click right into this map, be taken into our great Maps app. 
So of course we have multi-touch gestures. We see Coit Tower here. I can uh, zoom, I can pan the map around like this. And we have a uh, satellite view with, of course, flyover. And it just looks gorgeous. Looking into the city here, you can see the route that I can travel up to Coit Tower. And when I'm ready to go, I can just go right up here to the share menu and send it to my iPhone where it appears on my lock screen. I can swipe right in to turn-by-turn -turn directions for my route. So that's a quick demo of Mavericks.